Welcome back champions. I hope you're all fantastic on today's installment of Five Minute Licks. We're gonna do some of that stuff because that's the stuff I do all the time and I figured it might be nice to break down some licks that uh, you might be sick and tired of listening to on the channel when I demo gear. This lick, basically I've been playing most of my guitar playing life I was really, really fortunate to be exposed to, uh, you know, the gold standard that is Paul Gilbert's intense rock instructional VHS tape. And I tried to learn just about every line on there. And I did notice that a lot of them were based around groups of six or three. So there's a lot of kind of triplety stuff. And, you know, I was kind of like, oh, what if you did four? instead what would that do so this particular line is a nice way to break out of that kind of triplety or sixes feel that is really common when you're learning i guess kind of shred based stuff what we're going to do is do it in the key of a and this one's really cool because it uses the dorian blues scale which uh, even if you don't know the name you have probably played before if you're in the key of a basically you're going to be playing fret eight seven and five on the top three strings and then try and land on fret seven on the D string, which is the low, no, it's not actually the low A, but it's a lower A than this one anyway. So these notes. It's kind of like the box to play 80s rock and roll guitar solos and you hear just about every guitar player from that era do that sort of stuff, whether it's Paul or whether it's George Lynch or Slash, uh, you've probably come across that I call it the Dorian blue scale because it's the notes of a Dorian mode plus the flat five. And what we're going to do is simply sequence that by descending four notes. You can pick it all, you can use pull offs, whatever you want. And then we're going to go back up one note and descend four again. So the first pattern is three notes on the E string, one note on the B string. The second part of it is one note on the E string, three notes on the B string. Now, I don't use all pull-offs for that, as you can hear there. Uh, I kind of don't like doing pull-offs too much. I really like the half and half approach of uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs and picking. So I would pull off the first three notes and then pick the rest. So you get this. That kind of thing. It's kind of cool to grab that note G and bend it up to the root note A as well. You simply repeat that pattern on the B and the G string. And then what I like to do is uh, kind of add a little bluesy flourish on the end where you might go from the minor third to the major third and then the root. Now, of course, when you add a whole bunch of grease on top of that and maybe a wah, you get this. It has that crazy aggressive all picked sound, but it's not all picked, which I like as well. So if you want to channel some 80s Paul Gilbert, this to me is more the thing he would do when he was playing with Mr. Big than Racer X. I think Racer X, uh, you know, if you apply this sequence to the harmonic minor scale or something like that, you might get more of that uh, kind of feel there. But yeah, it has that Paul, Zach Wilde, George Lynch slash kind of thing going on. And uh, for me, I really like it because it's not strictly triplets. It's got a half and half approach. So it's a little bit easier to play than something that's all pull offs or all picked. Uh, it just kind of sits in that little Goldilocks zone for me. Uh, and what I want to know is if you try this lick, does it sit in the Goldilocks zone for you? If so, please let me know in the comments. The whole point of this series of videos is I want to give you some little ideas which you could hopefully incorporate into your own playing. If you want to join the Discord server, that is linked in the video description and you can go to the practice channel and put up a clip of you playing this particular line or ask some questions. If you want to support the channel, there are links to my music and my Patreon in the video description. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all have some fun with this lick.